So we live, so baby. We live. What's going on, guys? Welcome back <laughs> to another episode of Untouched. <laughs> Some way, somehow, we made it alive. <laughs> Just barely. Hey, mm. but did you die? Almost. Almost. Hey. <laughs> nah. Actually, yeah, actually, almost. <laughs> Nah, it's also like podcast, most authentic, most organic podcast out here. Let's go. It, it feels like forever. We have not recorded an actual podcast in... <gasps> About three, three really? weeks. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've all been go, go, go. We've all been go, go, go. We've been go, go, go. go, go. So for the people that don't know, I'm Dusko now. Everybody knows. Jose No Way. Yeah, I got my guy Pepe over there. And we have, we're joined in by a special guest. Little Miss Jack yes. Jack Segura. Oh, yeah. hey, right. hey, right. hey, 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 hey. We need a little soundboard. I, we do. I need to start messing with we us. We may not have it on the soundboard, hey. but we'll make it happen. It's it's it comes from within. Just it's, had a clap <laughs> in the background. It you know it, it's cool having the boys sitting in in a podcast and like just kind of recapping on life and how it's going. But as some say, guys are not always right. Sometimes you need the female perspective. Sometimes. 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 Ah. Sometimes. Depending on what, what they're saying, maybe it's going to be, oh, Depending yeah. Depending on the vibe and the female. <laughs> hey, hey, you guys need us. You guys need us. No, oh, we need you. I had, on, on, what was it? Alongside a great man, there's a great woman. Period. Yep. Holding yeah. it down. Period. Holding it down, yep. So for those girls that are holding it down for your mans. Shout out to you. Hey, hey. I, I, that's the podcast. Hey. No, I'm just kidding. Right, wrap I, it I, up. We'll <laughs> <just, just>, <laughs> see you guys in three weeks again. Life has been definitely lifing, which is like being very transparent. I was telling you the boys yesterday is like, I haven't had no motivation to sit down, record, and just have a conversation because life is happening. Kind of sometimes you want to just take a step back, you know, just lay down on the couch, look up to your ceiling and just do nothing. You know, let life happen, kind of ponder whatever everything's happening. But we just came back from a big moment, which we went to Orlando, worked with Ticketmaster. So my boys, we got to give it up. We got to give it up. We survived a six hour flight. <laughs> that was a hey, on the way. Me and, Pe me and Pepper were living it. The person that was supposed to sit in the middle never showed up. But on, way back, but on the way back, on the way back, we struggling. <laughs> it was like our, a five and a half hour flight. It was bad. Our comadre, the middle seat. Our com like this. Our comadre was sitting in the middle with us. She was asleep, but she was sitting in the that middle. Was even worse because we couldn't even stand up. <laughs> <laughs> I waited for those snacks to come through because I'm like, damn, I need to use a restroom. <laughs> Wait, you were in the middle? No, no, no. She, she was in the middle, so I had to get through. I was in the window. Oh, yeah. I see. So I was like, damn. I'm not trying to wake her up on Poco. <laughs> four hours? I saw I saw four more hours to go. I said, nah, fuck this. I need to use the restroom. Like, I'm not gonna wait. You gotta yeah. you gotta do you. Right? Yeah. You gotta said, you know do what? you. Snacks and cuando I don't have snacks, I'm like, I'm gonna let you finish your snack first. But yes, as soon as you nice. finish your snack, uh, <laughs> I am up. We did basically a forty out forty eight hours in Orlando. Nothing but work. I mean, besides like the first night we were able to you know, we went to able to explore the downtown city, which it was cool, you know. It was popping on a Tuesday. I know it was popping on a Tuesday. Is late. Yeah, yeah. they don't. We didn't see no more. gators. We didn't see no gators. No gators. I no was gators. hoping to see one actually. <laughs> How about them gators? <laughs> we didn't see no no gators. <laughs> but um, honestly, I think working from my perspective, working with a company at that magnitude, it was it was crazy just to have an opportunity be in the East Coast and then running into someone, two people that says, "Hey, I follow y'all." Really. Yeah, oh, that's so cool. we're like they're pretty hyped too. Yeah, because yeah. it was just a normal like, oh hey, how you doing? Appreciate you. And he was like, yo, I follow you. I'm like, cap, show me the Instagram. <laughs> Showed it. <laughs> My father was following us. We're like, damn, that's crazy. It, that's so. Yeah. That's like such a cool feeling. It is. Yep, it's for like, sure. Because you just never really know how far your content, everything you post, reaches. Yeah. You just never know. But that's that's super cool. That's so, why I mean, I think we can all. Uh, testify to this is everything you put out there you just never know who's watching yeah. right so 
I know social media is a little hectic and a little tiring, and it becomes a little bit, right? A little bit too much, but if you don't put it out there, you just don't know who's watching. The people are watching. Yep. Yeah. So that's why it's more of a... Why hold yourself back now when you have every opportunity? If it works, cool. And if it doesn't, hey, you tried it. Mm -hmm. Like, there's nothing worse that can happen. You know what I mean? And I think when shit is taken from you, you're like, oh, makes me think. A little humbling. A little humbling. A little humbling. But then you have opportunities where we're talking about this month. Life was lifing. Shit was taken away. Shit was added. Shit was, we were going through it. And we're just like, wow. It's been a... It's been a crazy month. May has been a roller coaster. It's been a month, huh? It's been a month. It's, a month. May, it's gonna be May, and that right? shit came on. I would, like for you, how do you? I know how we do it. Us guys, we stay our head down. We just keep maneuvering tunnel and tunnel vision, and we'll cry here and there when we're alone, and we'll maneuver. For you, for yourself, life has been lifing. How do you handle this? Yeah, life has been definitely lifing this month and um, a little more so. It's just new experiences, like you said, things being taken away, things yeah. being brought up. Um, for me, as a woman, um, I kind of had to just figure it out. At first, when things get taken away from you right away, like in an instant, you're just kind of yeah. like, what? the hell is going on what do i do yeah. so it may has been a roller coaster for sure but for me the whole process of everything was kind of like okay it's taken from you you kind of just have to kind of like dwell on it and like sit and be like okay look around what's going on get yourself together compose but like you have to take i think a second to just kind of like breathe in take it all in and like observe of what what is going on and then just kind of figure it out kind of like let it hit you right yeah like you have to take in the feelings and all the emotions that go come through it because it's like i think a lot of times people expect to know exactly what to do right away yeah that i don't know about y'all but when new experiences happen to me and like something new comes up i'm just kind of like it's like you try to be prepared but yeah you like um, and the truth is like it's a new experience. You're going to learn something new from it. But, like, you have to take a second to just dwell on it and, like, soak it all in. Like, you're not going to have the answers right away all the time. Yeah. And I think for me, this month, it took me some time to just, like, figure out what I was doing. What do I want to do? And what do I really want to do? Mm. Like, I don't want to just, you know, settle for anything yeah. or half-ass anything. Like, yes, yeah. yeah. grande. You know? What exactly do I want to do? And what am I going to do to get there? Yeah. yeah, it's just giving giving yourself the opportunity to fight yeah. and to learn. Like you, you don't become the person you are now if you didn't go through all the obstacles, the roller coasters, the bad days and the good days. Like you become this person because you had to go through all those change of events, whether it was losing a job, whether it was losing a relationship, whether it was losing uh, something that was major impact in your life. You had to go through this in order to become this. Because now how can you give someone advice if you've never gone through it? Or is this you've never even had the opportunity to process it? Hey, how'd you handle losing so-and-so or this? Well, fuck, if I've never gone through it or I never really embraced it, I, I, I can't tell you. But because I went through this and because I, you know... Ended up taking a moment to breathe. Okay, cool. This is what happened. This right. is what I, what I did. Bounce back. Bounce back. And whether it was in a major way or a minor way, we always say take one step. As long as you're moving forward, hey, slow and steady. Mm -hmm. It's all right. You don't need to have all the answers, but just have just have the right mentality of, hey, I'm going to figure it out, and i got to keep going. Yes. Es como, como dicen, el, el sol va a salir. Mañana va, va a salir, it's going to come out. Exactly. You know, maybe cloudy, maybe rainy today, but I promise you tomorrow it's a new one, it's a new day. The sun will come out. But if you sit and ponder about today and you want to quit, well, you'll never make it to tomorrow. Yeah. So it's just like, um, I mean, we this is this is where, like, the opportunity with, with Ticketmaster popped up where we're just like, damn, bro, we're going through changes we're, what are we doing? Are we doing it right? Or what are we messing up on? And then you get that one moment of 
you're doing right. Here you go. Mm-hmm. Here's your sign. Here's your opportunity to, hey, this is what you've been do- working for. It's like, when are we going to go to Florida again, too? <laughs> <laughs> for real. Whenever Ticketmaster. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, whenever Ticketmaster if you're listening, whenever we're ready, we're ready. We're ready. Hey. We are ready. Hey. Yeah, it's just catching, catch, I guess you could say catching a break, you know? The, 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 you put all the work. You put in all the work, you put in the hours, the days, the weeks, the months, and you may not get it in a month, two months, six months, a year, and then, boom, here you go. Mm-hmm. You kept going. Consistency. And that's why, like, the video we just posted, like, hard work. I'm, we're talented, but we're not the most talented, but one thing about us is we're too consistent and we're very hardworking. I think I've seen on Instagram, overnight success happens over 12 years. Mm. However, however many years you've been working. Yep. That's what overnight success is. Yeah. Yeah. You see it in a blink of an eye. Yeah. To, you know, you're you're a, an owner of a brand. Yes. What, what, what's the name of this brand? That? Plug it in. Uh, Shop Segura for, on Instagram at shop.segura. Oh. Oh. All, your, all your needs, all your Western <laughs> needs, all your fashion needs, if you want to put a little dress up. I got some you, girl. I got you. I see the vibes. No, oh, <laughs> we're. I didn't, get the memo. I didn't get the memo. Young lady. <laughs> Mi compa se mira como Like if walking If we're at a ranch And walks in He looks like the owner of the ranch <laughs> Jefe Jefe Hey Jefe Que necesita jefe Ahorita se lo traemos Hey if you If you own the ranch What would the What would the Name of the ranch be Everybody, who, if you own the ranch, what, what is the name of the ranch? What would you name it? Oh, shit. Oh, I'm going to have to go with my handle, No Way Ranch. <laughs> no Way Ranch. I know. Like, <laughs> yeah, No Way Ranch. She's going to be like, Segura. No, you know what? They, I always, like, a little, my, I would go with something maybe like, for sure. I don't know. I don't know. But it would definitely be something along the lines of that. I mean, yeah. how could I not? Mm. Might as well, right? Make Might it a well. one-stop shop. Make it a one-stop shop. <laughs> we got to make sure we talk to the jefe. I know. <laughs> Patron. <laughs> Patron. I need to get the juices <laughs> flowing. I just, you know. Yeah, so, back, I mean, back to it. Your own shop segura. Yes. Dealing with a business and dealing with life. When do you feel you have that moment of, okay, I'm doing okay? Or, like, what's the reassurance of you're putting all this work, hours, you're trying to maintain the smile, be a, be a great friend, be a great sister, be a great daughter. You're maintaining all this. How do you maintain your sanity? <laughs> Try to maintain life. Adio, verga. All the hard-hitting questions. I guess what you're, like, asking is, like, how do I... Like, how do I stay sane? Yep. How do I, how do I keep composure? Exactly. Um, lo hacen ver fácil, pero, you know, I'm not going to say it's easy, but, you know, I feel like to get to the bigger picture, you have to take small steps, kind of mm. like you were saying. Consistency. You can't jump from one step and leap over, you know, these tiny little steps to get to where you need to go. So for me, it's taking a moment, breathing in, figuring out what I need to do, And honestly, just putting in the work, because as long as you put in the work and keep consistent and you try your best, the results are going to come no matter what. You just have to see it through and you have to stay positive. And that's what I do. Um, You know, not everything, not every day is going to be a good day. Mm. You're going to have good days and bad days. But I know that as long as I see it through and keep my work consistent and my energy consistent, like something's got to give. So for me, it's just kind of like knowing that the consistency keeps going and going. And that's what keeps me saying, like making content, you know, putting my best foot forward. And then you see little like uh, milestones coming in, like, oh, this opportunity arises or this happened. And then you're like, you look back and you're just like, you know, it's not so bad. It's not not so bad. What would be? Yeah. What would be your I've made it moment if oh, you haven't had it already? I, you know, I think I'm still working towards it because every time, like, I accomplish something, I'm like, I could do bigger. Mm-hmm. I could do better. But my big made it moment, I mean, I just want to be the best, the best that I could be, like, for the people. Mm-hmm. With the shop, you know, I provide 
services and I honestly try to do my best and I just want to make people feel good so mm -hmm. if I'm getting that outcome mm -hmm. like eso para mi mm -hmm. vale oro and what is the goal for Shop Segura down the line down where do you see it in five, five years five years oh the hard hitting questions hard, just a little bit <laughs> like, you know I mean, you said hey you're thinking about what you want to do what is yeah, it that you want to yeah do? yeah yeah no definitely I mean because there's so many things yeah. that I want to do with it but I mean I just want to grow 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 i want to make it yeah. known i want to i want people to feel confident i want to put a new perspective on <clears throat> fashion and western wear and kind of collide the two cultures that i'm doing a mexican-american feel like i want people to feel confident in that and i mean where the road takes me dude i'll go yeah. I think that to, to your point is I think the way I can some what comes right into my mind is I want to be known for what I did yeah and I wanted I want to I want people to see when they see it know where it came from and who had a part of this like we're not the only ones that do this but hey we're the only ones that did it this way yeah we're the only ones that made this work and in our way, you know what I mean? So it's, um, I think the satisfaction of just seeing other people happy. Yeah. We work hard. We, we do our best to show up and be present. And even though some days we don't feel the best, I just want to make sure everybody around me is okay. And like having that positive impact on people. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's how, that's what feeds me is I may not have the best week or the best day, the best moment, but if I see a stranger that's doing good because of something I said to them, or I see my friends doing good because I showed up, that's my payback. That's yeah. the, okay, I'm going to hang on because I, you need me and I need you to be okay for exactly. me to be okay. So it, it, it goes with the little triumphs, right? Like how hard you're working and now you, you get to have this little opportunity to be, I get to feed my family. And then not, and you could say it in a figurative way where it's not just money wise or food wise, it's like experiences. You know, hey, mom, dad, look what I did. I'm here now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm all the way over here. And oh, amigo, ¿qué estás haciendo? I'm like, okay, yeah. Yeah, I just realized my mom, <clears throat> when I came back from the Florida trip, she was like, oh, I like what you guys are doing. Like, I finally watched it. <laughs> and she was like, I told your your tia and your grandma to like just watch it and give a like because I know you guys get paid for that. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, thank you for like that. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Extra likes. Yeah. Yeah. Stop lying. You know you got your mom's phone in. <laughs> so, I did it with my mom's. <laughs> Shit, I gotta turn off all my other three IGs that I'm. <laughs> I created burner accounts. <laughs> exactly. Hey, hey sometimes those are the secret social media. Create burner accounts to create traction. Hey, we hey. should do what you gotta do. That's all I'm gonna say. Social media tips. Oh, are you, you ready? You ready to give us the the secrets to this? I mean, I don't got all the secrets. I'm trying to learn from you guys. Uh, we're trying to learn from you. Sheesh. You know, no, but secrets. seriously, like, there's just a lot of stuff that we could talk about about social media. But. It, it's always, there's a lot of ways we can we can out. There's a lot of uh, yeah. tips and tricks to the game. Yeah. For, first trick and the best one is start it. Post, post it, post, post it, post create it. content. Shout out to games, if not noise. now, when? I know, shout out to <laughs> games, if not now, then when? when. Yeah. That yeah. was... <laughs> no, it really, it really is, tomorrow. and I mean... <laughs> tomorrow? Stay away. Jefe, jefe. Perdóneme, perdóneme. Pero tu bonita. But, yeah, step one, just post. You yeah. need You need to create something. Yeah. Get your name out there, get your face out there. You need to have something out there in order for you to even be seen. Mm -hmm. And if you keep it in your files, ¿quién lo va a ver? Post it. Exactly. Just We've always it. said it. One like is better than no likes, right? Exactly. And you have to start somewhere. And I think that kind of goes back. Like People expect, oh, I'm going to start posting videos. I'm going to go viral immediately. Like, yeah. And I'm not getting so many likes and tractions. Yeah. Like, I have a failure. No, 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 baby girl, it's baby steps. Like, just post. I feel just like just building post. the audience or your uh, following is better than being that overnight sensation. Because yeah. then now, they're just going to be like, oh, you're known for that one video. No. no. Now you're known yeah. for this. Like, many yeah. things, right? And, and you you have to remember, and maybe you guys, you guys can disagree if you need to. You need to... You believe in what you're doing, but you need your audience to believe in what you're doing. They need to see how serious you are. Yeah. If they see it once every month, every other month, 
Or they just see you bouncing around and... Stop throwing shots at me, fool. Just tell me, <laughs> just tell me that's meant for he me. Said, he's literally shit. looking at me. Jefe, me. jefe. He literally said... Perdóneme, jefe. He's nunca, making direct nunca. eye contact. <laughs> Fired. On it. Fired. Ahorita voy a ordenar unas vacas. No se preocupe. It's like, there's so many people with a brand. There's so many people with a shirt. There's so many people yeah. with podcasts. Yeah. But they need to buy in to, to you. To, to you. Us, right? Yeah. They're not just going to... Yeah, like there's like so many other podcasts. I can go listen to that one or whatever. But yeah. I want to see, I want to hear what you're saying. Yeah. I like what you're doing, and I believe in you. Yeah, and like there's an audience for everybody. Yeah, like, yeah. there's space for everybody. You just gotta kind of you have to have yeah, oh, yeah. give people a reason to watch you, listen to you, and buy from you, mm-hmm. right? If we're gonna shop at Shop Segura, why am I buying from this this one instead of all these other stores that there's right. out there? You know, oh, I, and a big thing for me is embrace your position right you are the content you are the person yeah. so let people fall in love with you and if you have a product or a system so much easier to sell. that's a huge part of being like a business owner is like people a brand is one thing yeah but you also have to put your part and portray yourself a certain way because like people are buying from people yeah or brand yourself yeah right? like yeah. it's more than just biz you know operations and this and that yeah. but you as an owner have a lot to do with it yeah. porque si tú no me caes bien para que vender yeah, de ti yeah. you right. know like it's like not nah, I mean you're right, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. you know what I was about to say go and buy at shops like that, but I don't know no more guys bien jefe guys bien shop segura all of a sudden That's yeah right. no it, it it's definitely you you need to let people fall in love with you so whatever you were to bring out show per- they want to follow you and be a part of that journey. They want to feel a part of what you're doing. Yeah. Hey, they see you in La Vallarta buying fruta. Oh my God, that's her. Mm-hmm. That, that's Jack Jack. Mm-hmm. And then it's when they come up to you, it's like, oh shit, I'm doing something. Like and it's, people are seeing. Yeah, and it, you know, don't get me wrong. We're those people that, hey, congratulations, dude, you're doing it. We're like, hmm, we are. Oh. I'm like, because it's hard for us to believe that, yo, we're putting in work. Yeah, because you see the good days and you see the bad days, too. Like, yeah. You know what it's like. People just kind of Yeah, so step one, post content. Step two, what would you say? Best advice for, for content for creators. Media, yeah. Don't care what people think. Bam. Igual como la gente les vas a caer muy bien, a la gente les vas a caer mal. Super. That don't fuck with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you really just got to have some thick skin to be on social media, for sure. Because you can't let it get to you. Have you ever let it get to you? Oh. Um, at some point I did. Yeah. But then you just kind of learn to brush it off. Okay, okay. It, I will just say it's like it comes with a learning lesson, you know. You yeah. It gets to you and then you're kind of like, ah, what do I do? I don't yeah. like this. But then after that, you're like. Yeah. Who's, whose opinions matter to you in your life? Opinions. I would say people that I look up to and people that I aspire to be like, mm. those opinions matter because it's always going to be the people que te critican, que you're like, bro, I don't even vibe with you. Like, yeah. I don't fuck with you like that. I wouldn't want to be like you. Why would I take your advice? Like, I'm trying to learn from people that I aspire, that I look up to, and that I want to be like in the future. Thanks. What are you doing? How can I learn from it? Nice. And solo así. Because if I paid attention to what everybody had to say about me. You'll be right there. I'd be, yeah, like I'd be down with their negative energy. And like you guys know, I'm always trying to be like, look at the positive side and this yeah. and that. Yeah, like I will only take opinions from people that I'm like, I like what you're doing. How can I do that? Yeah. How can I learn? So. Are there specific people that you aspire to be like? Influencers, just anybody in general? I think anybody that kind of carries the same energy as me. I'm meeting a lot of people, you know, throughout this journey. Um, I have a very close you know, circle of people mm-hmm. that I really value their opinions, friends, families. Yeah. Um, people kind of in similar spaces that I aspire to be like. Yeah, there's a few influencers. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I spend a lot of time on social media, so I get a lot of info from people. Yeah. Business owners. Um, yeah. Yeah, just everyone in, has kind of the same energy. Omar 
So, so it's a good assortment of people. Like it's not catered to just one type of person because I try to learn from everything yeah. and take a little bit from everyone. Yeah, we're, your piece, your our content is is made up of what we've been inspired by. Exactly. There's people before us, there's people after us, there's people in the same time as us, and we're just taking notes from what they're doing and how can I make it my way? I love what you're doing. I got to do it my way. You know? And, a little bit of this. And I and think a everybody's bit of that. doing it now, right? Yeah. Everybody's taking inspiration from other people. Yeah. No, there's no like, yeah, like one you, way make it your own. Yeah, you like you you get to throw in like your little razzle dazzle to things, but Razzle, dazzle. Literally went up. Yeah, a little. Uh, 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 uh. It's the hat. Jack it's, Jack effect. It's, it's hey. the hat. He wears a hat once, and he's like, "Shit." Razzle, dazzle. <laughs> Starts feeding himself. Yeah, no, it's uh, you. You, you're made up of other ideas. Like you have to make sure, like you do your research on how other people are doing it, mm-hmm. the good that they do and the bad that they exactly. do, what they failed in, how they succeeded, what worked and what didn't work, and then bring it to you. You know, you, you're the only one con, with your brain, with your vision, and you, you have to put it out there, right? And I think the first, the one thing that does come to mind before we take our little break is a quote that's very famous by our parents is, Dime con quien andas, te dicen quien eres. You know? Parents love that quote. Yeah. So, si andas en malo, con mala gente, andas en malos pasos. And it's true. It's true. You know? And I mean, cada quien... Resulta ser, you know, quien quieren ser. Everybody's different. You yeah. know, not everybody's going to carry the same energy, but it does affect a lot who you're around with. Mm. Yep, your day to day. Your day to day and your, your outcome. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, little. I like this. Guy. I like this. Guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a Kool Aid man. Insert Kool Aid. Oh, yeah. We'll be right back. We're gonna go get the jefe his his comida. Tenemos que traer los caballos y ahorita regreso. Arre. Arre. Okay. Y'all ready for? What? What are you gonna throw at what us? Ready for? What you gonna throw at us? This was be- more this, life. This was before the plot. This was before the plot yesterday. I was just thinking. Plot was plotting. Nah, there was a video that that I watched, and it, it's a good, it, it, it's a good argument here. It's a. Boys, girls, type of thing. A little bit. I'm ready. We're ready. ready. Bebe's ready to fight. That's for sure. (laughs) So my question is, do you you think men love more authentically than women? Ooh, we're getting into the good stuff. Okay. Do you, I think. Men love more authentically than women. You know what? I think when a man falls in love like in really love, love. really yeah. in yeah. love not just shits and giggles not just un pasa, nada. when yeah. a man is really in love yeah i think he's i think they do love more authentically than women mm. yes but they have to be really in yeah. love yeah yeah and, and I, I think that what do you guys yeah. think yeah like when you when cuando se clavan, Ahí se clavan. for sure i don't know, you but know a lot of the shit huh? that, yeah it's yeah. yeah. porque like when a girl falls in love, it's like I'm not trying to but they can put anybody into that category of yeah. love. Like, oh right now I love you. Okay, perfect. And then something happens and I could take that person out. Yeah. But when a guy falls in love with someone, it's everything. I'm gonna die for you, I'm gonna kill for you. I'm going to be there through the good and bad. Treat me like shit, but I'm going to stay there because Mm -hmm. I genuinely love you. Like, let's go through this storm together. And even if I'm not making it out with you, like, I want to try to be that for you. Because when guys get hurt, oh, Jesus. It's terrible. I'm finding out. I don't know if it's a Pisces thing, but, like, I feel a lot. I don't know if it's a Pisces thing, but I just feel a lot. Yeah. you gotta deal with the. Oh, he's bringing astrology. Into I know. It. No. That's the only thing I know. <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing I know. Like, I, Are Pisces supposed to go with a blow? I heard Fish? a lot of things about Pisces, man, but we'll get into that. Oh, yeah, that one, next one right there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you guys, what do you guys think about that? Like, when a guy falls in love with a girl, do you think uh, we love more authentically, or do you think. I mean, obviously, like, well, we can always chime in because I can only give guys' perspective, but it's like, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Uh, I feel like we only have that pedestal to our moms. Like we mm. value our moms so much, and then yeah. we can only like give that other 
type of love to to uh, your significant other. So I feel like once we find that person, like actually that person, we want to do it's that. It's not to just them. anybody. Like, yeah, I don't feel like you guys just meet a girl and it's like, oh my god, I love her. I mean, maybe. No, no. It but it, de- it definitely if there's like that one. I feel like, like if you can, one, if yeah, you can heal your childhood that. traumas with that person or re- be a child with that person, I feel like that's like that genuine love. And that's that person. You locked in right now. We're locked, locked in. Right in. Just wrap it up there. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. You when you find someone that you end up feeling as strong as love as the love that you have for your mother or some a woman that's very important in your life, mm-hmm. you're like, dude, I'm gonna protect her. I'm gonna love her. I'm gonna give her everything, and that's where. The extremity of I'll die for you and I'll kill for you. Mm-hmm. I'll go through the mud as long as I see you happy. Yeah. But when we lose that, it goes. It dies too. It's yeah. like what's that? Uh, the little uh, back in the fifties or something. When in like oh, there's a wet puddle and you put like your jacket over. Oh it. yeah. yeah. Like I won't put the jacket. I put myself over it so you can like just walk through it. Yeah. Like, Stop lying. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, You can pick a mud. <laughs> He's like, go around. He's like, get on, get on my back. <laughs> get on my back. Yeah, no, I think. Uh, <sighs> I think we Por eso no me enamoro. Cállate. Because when, when it's like it's crazy because you fall in love, you fall in love hard. It what happens scary. if it doesn't it's go anywhere? You know what? It I, is scary. It do, yes, and you know what that brings me to, like as a POV as a woman, like now that I'm older, it I understand the quote cuando dicen busca quien te quiera. You know, quien quieres, like as a woman, as a woman, because now, like, it's very men and women think very different. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> <laughs> but now that I'm older and I, I'm like, just in the love field, it makes sense. I'm like, busca quien te quiere y no a quien querer, because I feel women can put anybody in that category. Yeah, they can just move a little different. It's like that that saying, even though it's cringe. I'm sorry, but it's like, uh, if he wanted to, he would. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's so true. Yeah. And yeah. honey, if he's not want, if he's not. Yeah. But you reverse it. That applies to girls too. Oh no, definitely. If, <laughs> she, if she wanted to, she would. It, if anybody wanted to, they, they would. would. Everybody yeah. has time. Yeah. Everybody can make time. We're all busy. It's a yeah. matter of priorities. It's a matter of priorities, and God sometimes, can. sometimes you ain't a priority. You ain't a priority. If you're not a priority. Dump that person. <laughs> Let me hit you sideways then. So you're saying not to fall in love. I'm saying I tend to so, not fall in love. But do you want to be in love? Next question. <laughs> no, a genuine question. No, bring it out. <laughs> no, I think we all want to be in love and fall in love with somebody, right? And I think it's just, uh, I mean, why lie? I do. It's all right. It's a safe space. It's a safe space. Yeah, I'm a boy. Yeah. It's, you know what? It, My manager's it, calling me. <laughs> el estar enamorado es bonito. Yeah. It's, it's so nice. Like, you know, when you, that first, that you know, cheesy. few weeks, that little butterflies, everything. Everyone's like, oh, I don't want to fall in love. But dude, quit lying. When you're in yeah. love, it's such a good feeling. You're on the clouds. Yeah. It's like, like life is good everything right is now, better. but with you, it's 10 times better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know. Cheesy. I remember it's a nice feeling. It's, I mean, it's, it's como, feel it again. It's como, it's como decir, la, cuando estás ganando, se siente chido. Yeah, Estamos yeah. al millón. Pero si estás ganando con la gente que de veras te quiere y tú amas, ¿qué más quieres en la vida? You know, ¿Qué, qué es más lujoso que el dinero? El amor. It's a great feeling. Like you could you could see two broke people deeply in love and they're just broke and they're struggling. They're like, bro, I got you, you got me. They got each other's yeah. back. And they got each other's back. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, I'm it's it's a funny thing, but sometimes you see homeless people all in love and happy, and I'm yeah. like, you For got real. nothing. Sometimes they have a better life. <laughs> they have a better life than it's like, how do you do it? You don't even shower, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'm like well, damn, right? I've seen no, yeah, I've seen it. And shit, all cute, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of cute, Heike. I know. They got everything they need. They got everything they need. Their, their home is within each other. Dang. Dang. 
<laughs> Pero dime que no, like, if you guys have ever had, like, if you guys have ever been in love, like, nothing else matters. You're just, no. like, smooth sailing. No. They, they make you feel like a kid. I feel like yeah, that's what love is. Yeah, it's just a good feeling. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, I w- I've said it before, it's like, when you know you're in love when the whole world stops, and the only thing that matters is you and her. You and that, and that time you're with that person. Mm-hmm. Where, Jose said it before, when your happiness is based off of her happiness, how she's feeling. And you don't care if you got to go through the mud. You don't care if you have to go through hell. As long as she's okay, hey, I got you. And it's the simplicity of the hugs, the time together. We don't need to say a single word. As long as we're sitting next to each other, I'm at peace. silence. Yeah. yeah My I, world I, could be I, falling I, apart. I love being alone, but with that one person, you can be alone with me. It's, it's like... My world can be falling apart, but with you, everything is perfect. Yeah. After that, I, I just don't, I don't see life anything different. Mm-hmm. And I think you can see life. Say it, fool. Say it. So what happens when that person is a cause of your life falling apart? I was literally Ooh. thinking literally, the same what thing. What do you do then? Do you keep cause loving? Because it's like, how hard can you keep loving somebody that's just, I guess, screwing you over? I think... That's where you have to take accountability or you have to make that decision of I love this person, but I need to find myself again and I need to be happy because it, it the, I think the saddest thing in the world is when you're fighting for everybody's happiness and somebody else is yet yeah, no one's paying attention to your happiness and no one cares about it. Back to what we said yesterday, life doesn't give it doesn't care about how you feel. It's going to happen. Time is going to keep on going. So if you don't make a change now, I don't want to hear your sob story six months down the line of, mm-hmm. hey, you're still in the same position. Why? I know you love this person, but how much do you love yourself? Oh, what? I you, think you, change uh, you need to take accountability and responsibility in your actions and seeing why is that happening? Because it's not, they're not a shitty person. If there was, you would never fall in love, right? Yep. So there has to be something on... Your part that you did or maybe they didn't realize that you got to, like, take accountability and then yeah. work through it. I feel like love is always the hard part, too, like, working through it. Like, yeah. It's easy just to quit or, like, oh, I got I to take time for myself. But yeah. if you need to analyze what you did on your part, maybe you can work it out, too. Well, why do you, like, our parents or our older generation, what did they say? Oh, nowadays, kids in love, they don't last because it's the first sign of struggle. Yeah. They quit. They get divorced, they break up, and it's just like, you see parents married, celebrating 20 years, 30 years, 50 years, and it's like, how'd you get there? Yeah, that's, that, that was work. Yeah. It was, and it was what, work. It was work. Like, and putting I up with a lot of shit. People think, right? you know, being in a relationship, being in love is all smooth sailing, but mm, 20 or 30 años se dicen fácil. Yeah. yeah. It's Cele- work. It's celebrating a year is cool, celebrating two or three years is mm-hmm. cool, but hey, how... How can we get to celebrating 10 years together? Yeah. You know? That means you need to change. I need to change. And we're going to go through a lot of changes. How can we manage life together? Not individually together. Because you're growing. I'm growing. And, I mean, they say if you start growing individually away from each other, you're going to grow apart. And I feel like if there's no arguments and there's no there's no friction in there, there's, there's just no energy. Like, that's that's a bad thing also. Like, just... Always being perfect, like there's something wrong yeah. there. There was a, a quote that uh, Kevin Gates has said. It said, "A couple that prays together stays together." So it's just like you know, have a have a base. You know, have a base to your relationship. What is that? Oh well, we pray together. We we work on things together. Okay, yeah. cool communication. Um, there's a he's another podcaster that it it just aligns with everything we're saying right now. But name is uh, John uh, Scafidi. I gained a lot of peace when I realized people can still be in my heart, but not in my life. I still love you, but I want you away from me. I, I love you, but I can't keep you. I mean, and it happens, right? Yeah. You know, learning how to let go of those. Like you said, learning how to let go of people that are just causing you damage yeah. and causing you hurt. And they know they're hurting you and they don't stop. Or they know how deeply you care about them and they still decide to do what they do to to hurt you. And you know when you get hurt by the person you love the most, it's different. It hurts, yeah. It's, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts different. 
Yeah. yeah. Jack, 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 Jack right. found her. Right. Right. She's, she's like, she's, <laughs> she's, 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 she's like just no. sitting there like, hey. <laughs> out no, that one. Because it takes me back to like what we were saying. Because like, yeah, whoever you're around, that's the energy you're going to take. And that's what, you know, you're going to see. It's just the way you're going to, you know, yeah. see it through. But yeah. I mean, have it, you ever gotten your heart broken? Oh yeah, oh yeah, several Sorry, times, yeah. and you know. What was what was the worst heartbreak you had, uh, and how'd you I've deal had with it? A lot it? of heartbreaks. No, but uh, <laughs> that one that like count I, like you the got one that keeps you up. Well, at you know, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, because no, I can one. I can one confidently say like <laughs> I've learned something different from every heartbreak because yeah, like I. <laughs> We're just trauma dumping. We're just gonna trauma dump right now. For real. The one you drink for, the way you wake up at night, <laughs> the one that no, you that still you think shot, about it, and you're just for. The one you wanted to marry. <laughs> Dude, there's a lot of testosterone <laughs> in the room. I'm just trying to. You're trying to. I'm just trying to hey, fight. And we commend you because you're. I know. I, you hold your own. Hey, you hold hey. your own. <laughs> so that what was that heartbreak that has kept you up at night and I like, can't okay let me just say something for the record for the record muy bien en las noches, okay so I'm ahorita today ahorita today I can honestly say like I love my life and I'm mm. I'm not staying up at night over anybody yep, period okay it took a long time to get there but we're here now yeah, and that's all that matters that's right? all that matters but I will say that I think Every heartbreak has taught me something different. So I can talk about one and tell you what I learned from there. I can tell you another one and, you know, learned about, you know, yeah. what I got from there. But, um, man, like, I don't miss those days at all. Yeah. It's just, I'm trying to, like, because I, I was so young. I was, like, a lot younger. And, you know, you're, you're just so trusting. What do you mean? Oh, como? Como. Como, como. Como, como? Como de como? Como, como de que? Como de que? I'm losing, I lost my train of thought. Because <laughs> <laughs> the no, transmitter yeah. stopped. Like, the transmitter just it. stopped. I'm going through the history of all my heartbreaks <laughs> and which one was the one. But I think that first love, you know, that first young yeah. love that you have. The one you said, I'm going to marry. I'm going to with everything and you don't know what to do you just kind of are in the clouds and feeling yeah. it all y cuando eso se acaba I know it's just like yeah. the world's gonna end yeah. how am I gonna see it through this this and that but I think that first love that young love I think that what, what's hard is you miss that person you know primarily that's a damn like I wish we were here together but then you see the way your life planned out and how you're doing it and it's like damn i don't think there was enough room for that person to be here because look look at what we're doing look mm -hmm. at what we have look how i am my mentality the way i the way i live my life you know some and it applies to friends too sometimes your life and the way you are now there's no room for those other people that used to be there for one reason or another they left and they fell off but because your life is this way, like there wasn't enough room or there's only room for new people that get to be a part of this. They understand this, they understand you. Because, again, we say this all the time. If you got to beg someone to stay in your life, mm -mm. they should never be there. If you got to if you got to tell them the, the importance of being. Why? Why do you need to express that shit to them? Yeah, I know. They should know this off the rip. They should know how how important it is to be a part of someone's life. And if you got to beg somebody, I don't know. We don't beg around here, huh? We don't. I we can't. Don't beg around we don't. Here. No. no. I may ask once or twice, but the third time, it oh, may boy. come. It may come. <laughs> it, it may come. <laughs> it may come a third. May okay, a fourth I'll time. Ask me five times. <laughs> you, know, you, know you know what? Ten. <laughs> ten. <laughs> Even numbers only. After the 20th <laughs> time, it's <laughs> over. It's because it's one of those things. <laughs> and after the 100th time, I got the hint. <laughs> <laughs> it's because another 100. If, yeah. if, you don't, if you don't ask... You never know, but if you maybe if you ask again at a different time, they may they may change, change that. Yeah. People will change. change yes. Every minute of the day. Yes. Yes. Oh, well, yes. At, you know, Monday to Monday, just ask 
ask once a day, hey, how you feeling today? You wanna? <laughs> you wanna yeah? No? Okay, I'll, I'll ask tomorrow. So I'm gonna go over. Hey, no. is it? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I was I was in the neighborhood, dude. She you said live. Lonely. She said, <laughs> I live in a different state. Where you I know. It's like you live in a whole different county. What do you mean I was in a neighborhood? If you wanted to, I'm you in the want. area. I'm in the area. If you wanted to be in the area, available. Huh? Always hey. available. <laughs> and then you don't. And then you don't do it. And then what happens? Well, because you didn't try enough. Ah, <laughs> Awesome. You don't care about me. You, you gave up. So bold. You gave up. There has to I be moved right next to you. you Look, if. If those parents back in the days that used to beat on each other are still together, you can make it. <laughs> if there's no fights, there's no love. <laughs> fight for what you love and fight against your love. If you don't fight, you don't care. Hey, I'm, I'm sure as little kids, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong. You had you saw your tia and tío echando se putazos. And where, where are they at now? They still together. They're still in love. They still together. Well. They got love. They I don't know about in love, but they got love. love. Hey, they're but just comfortable <laughs> at this point, I think. Shit. You know. Hey, she got a black guy. He got a black. Es, es mi vieja me quiere, güey. Mi vieja me quiere. <laughs> es que los dos nos queremos. Hey, ¿Cómo, de, bueno. ¿cómo dice ese, el muchacho? Y es like, mi vieja me da infierno, pero yo la amo. <laughs> <laughs> de ahí soy. De ahí soy. <laughs> It's like, me da infierno, pero me encanta el calor. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've seen the other one. It's like, cuando me muera, quiero que me entierren con mi anillo de matrimonio. Para que Diosito sepa que ya estuve en el infierno. That's wild. Snap. Snap. Wow, so that was a good segment of, of love. Yeah. Hey, we could talk about it a lot. Let's talk about Count it. Count me the fuck out. Whatever you want to talk love, let me know. I need to do everything possible to know that I did everything. Yeah. Like, I want to know I was able to do every X, Y, and Z for you. And if this doesn't work and I get to move on or we move on... I just know I did everything possible. And if it just didn't work out, hey, it's okay. Like, there, no, no, no te quedes con las ganas. No te quedes con las ganas. Oh, just palabras bien sabias, Jack Jack. Algo bien. Algo bien. <laughs> Pero ese es el. By, huh? Huh? Words to live by. Honestly, <laughs> yes, because I mean, that, eso aplica en todo. Mm. You know? Explain, no te, explain. No te quedes con las ganas. No te quedes con las ganas. No, es que sí, it's like. And I'm going to put it in a general perspective in life. You know, no te quedes con las ganas. Life is too short because, yeah. you know, podemos estar aquí hoy, yeah. mañana, quien sabe. And it's better to do whatever you got to do. Si te funciona, que bien. Mm. Y si no, de eso aprendiste. Yeah. You're, vas a salir con algo one way or another. So yeah. por eso I'm like, no te quedes con las ganas. Whether it be good or a bad outcome, yeah. you learn something from it. Yeah. It's and, that simple. It, and I think that's what holds a lot of people back. Mm-hmm. It's the the what if and, and uncertainty kills people. Yeah, exactly. And then they they miss the opportunity, and then now se quedan con las ganas and damn, what if I would have, what if I would have taken that what shot? If. Or what if the what ifs kill you? Yeah. And now again, I've said it many times, but now it's like we don't live in the what if moment no more. We live in the hey, we're gonna do this, and it, either it did or it didn't work out. For me, it's the it's not that serious. Mm. It's not that not deep. That it's not, it's not, not that serious. Not that deep. Should be that serious. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's where we're at right now. Mm-hmm. Where we're just like, fuck it, we're gonna try it, and if it works out, and it it's, be, out. it's because life got us here. Like, yeah, like if you take it too serious, like, bro, you're gonna be stressing out. Like, yeah, and, and and don't get me wrong, like life is gonna give you the the stresses. It's gonna give you the all the emotions, the ups and downs, the happiness, the depression, the anxiety, every little thing. But that's life. Serious. That's serious. It could. I always say this. It could be worse. It could be worse. <laughs> yeah. It could be worse. Like all oh, right now, so I'm pochona yanta. It could be worse. Worse. It could be worse. It could be the yeah. whole fucking fuck up your rims. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. Jack, Jack, can we check your tires? Please. <laughs> your rims. It's bull. I'm just. A, I'm just a girl. <laughs> check her oil. <laughs> check her oil. Wait, your oil change. Huh? What's the last time you had oil change? I'm pretty good about my oil changes. Nice, okay, nice. but wait, you gotta, good. you gotta. They have to have oil changes. Ah. <laughs> I haven't got one in a minute. <laughs> it's gonna be the. <laughs> it's rough out here being an independent girl. I'm like, shit. Mm. So how do you get into your soft girl era, being so in your masculine era? Well, I wouldn't. I mean, I'm in my masculine because I. I mean, I have to. Yeah. Like, I'm. Estoy sola. I have. Si no, 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 no se hace. No. Like, I really have no other choice. Yeah. But um. I get done what I have to get done. I do what I have to do. Hmm. I take care of it. I handle it. 
But I love being a girl. Like, I love doing everything feminine. For me, it just kind of comes a little natural, right. if you will. It's getting so that. And then I for... Don't have, I don't struggle with getting into my feminine so energy. Would, so if, if you got into a relationship, would you be submissive to his masculine energy? Oh, I love a masculine man. Mm. Oh, my God. It's just like the creme de la creme. <laughs> okay, relax. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's Ooh. true. I think, like, <laughs> Show some meat. Woo. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I'm not even going to deny it. Like, yeah. I love um, like the masculinity and like the feminine energy. I feel like it just it goes so well together. Yeah. For me, at least. I'm yeah. speaking yeah. for myself. No, but yeah, don't. like I have no problem. All right, mm. for my boys, do you want a girl that's submissive to you or one that fights you back? No, like, so, so submissive. But, like, you got to lead. You got to be no, knowing how to lead. You can't just yeah. expect it to be submissive, no. It has to go both ways. Yeah. yeah. You know. It's a, What's indicators that's, that you have a man that's ready to lead in the relationship? What, cool. what, what are the indicators or, like, the little gestures that a man can do that gives you that, uh, oh, He's, he's going to lead. Immediately, I think of confidence. Mm. A man has to be confident in whatever he does. Yeah. Um, fake it till you make it if you have to, but <laughs> confidence is key. What gestures does he have? Does he do in the relationship that show you? Like, off the rip, what is it? Mm, I would say, uh, now I'm, like, thinking. For me, it would be kind of just take... Oh, oh. Ratito. <laughs> you know, I it, it's different for everybody, but just like lead me. You know, I'm not gonna say plan stuff because I think that goes both ways. Like would you say be assertive but respectful at the same time? Yeah, just just let me be in my feminine. Like, let me be in my like feminine. Like vieja, arreglate porque ahí vamos. Ah, yo me arreglo. Get ready. Yo me arreglo. I'm picking up Get ready. Oh, I love that. Body. Yeah, if we're talking simple we stuff going? like that, yeah. Yeah, it's Don't worry about it. I do like a man with a plan. Dress yeah. nice. That's it. Yeah. That's yeah. It. That's yeah. it. I think that's a. Don't dress raggedy. <laughs> <laughs> no sweats. <laughs> no, fuck it. If you're going to wear sweats, we both wear sweats. Hey, Let's step out together. It's all for the, it depends where we're going. It it depends on what dress for the occasion. Sweats to Mastro's. That'd be sick. Hey, a matching a matching uh, set. No se piensa. No se piensa. Yo y tú. My money's okay. either way. You know, overcharge me for the steak either way. <laughs> You're gonna charge me for the four pieces of fucking sushi we're about to get at Nobu. It's wild. Shit's insane. But I think it's just like the reason I ask is just because of those simplicity. Like obviously, chivalry nowadays it's a little tough, right? We're talking about how. Uh, Guys and girls have different people for different occasions, mm -hmm. but for the right person, you do these little these little gestures. Hey, make plans for men. Make your plan. Hey, we're gonna do this, this, this. Gonna go here at this time. Get ready. I'm there. Mm -hmm. Show up flowers. Make her feel love. Special. Give special. Make them feel special. Yeah. Not just once or twice. It's like every time. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. You know? Like if you're doing all down the first date or like just like a small gesture, expect it to keep it going. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of guys yeah. do it at the beginning, right? Yeah. And then yeah. once they get her, it's like, it's like why it. stop? You right. got more. Let me stop. I think something that I appreciate too, because like, yes, there's this whole thing of, you know, he needs to make the plan. He needs to yeah. pay for this. But I know that in the world that we live in, like, like we said, life is lifing. Yeah. Keep it real with me. And yeah. for some reason, you can't do something or yeah. something's not going to happen. Just tell me. Mm. Yo entiendo. We can work about it. We can work about it and we can get it through together. But like, just keep it real with me. Yeah. Keep it clear communication. I understand we all have bad days. Y a veces yeah. no se puede. But yeah. that also makes me respect them more because it's yeah. like, okay. So es que, like, you know, tonight we can't go out to dinner. Like, Whatever, you know, yeah. and I, okay, no pasa nada. Like, yeah. shepping it up at the house. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah like, we'll work away, but like, plan. keep yeah. it real with me. And I think that also yeah. Yeah. is a big indicator of So, like, we, we talked about this last time, and it was just us, but because we get to have your point of view today, how do you feel about a guy showing you emotions, letting you know, hey, like, I'm going through something, I don't feel the best? How do you? 
how do you allow a man to have that type of space in the relationship? Is it a deal breaker? Is it something you take it in and you embrace it with him? Or is it like you got to handle that shit on your own? No. Uh, for me, I would say, ex- like, let's talk about it. Let's talk about Everybody has emotions. Yeah. Men, women, some are more emotional than others, yeah. and that's okay. Yeah. But let's talk about it. For me, I would appreciate somebody who can handle their emotions. That's a different story because if you're out here like blurting things out and rampaging and going all wild with yeah. your emotions and you don't know how to compose yourself and control yourself, that is a red flag for me because I'm yeah. like, I'm trying to help you, but I need you to focus. Yeah. Get it together. Mm-hmm. If you don't know what to do, let's talk about it calm and collectively, but don't lash out. Mm-hmm. Don't pull some shit on me. Don't take out your frustration Go. on me, right? Yeah, like, you're yeah, mad like let's this, talk this about this, it. Just but. like, hey, this is happening, and I feel this way, and it's making me, you know, act like yeah. this. Okay, let's talk about it. But somebody who can't control their emotions. Nah, you don't want to be around that. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. But I would definitely take it in. I yeah. think it's important to talk about it because the way you feel ends up affecting your actions. For yeah. some reason, let's say I'm talking to a guy, and he's a little quiet or something's on his mind, like, mm. yeah. immediately I'm going to be like, well, did I do something? Yeah. Is it me? Is it some? Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. Let's... I'm just shy. Don't... I'm just shy. I'm just shy. I'm just shy. <laughs> yeah, no, you have to talk about it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the reason I bring that up is just, obviously, uh, I mean, we're, when we're recording this, the month is still Mental Health Month, and there is a bishop that said, I saw a video, and it said that men don't live... A long time or longer than women. Why? Because we don't talk enough. Because we feel like we have we don't have that space or mm-hmm. we don't have that um, a safe space to explain and give that like, hey, I'm going through this. We need to protect. We need to provide. We need to show up, and we need to keep on going. That's the only thing we're good for and needed for. And but if we're having a bad day, who's there to to have us protect mm-hmm. us? Well. Kind of can depend on nobody because if you're, they see you crying, you're weak. Yeah. And if they see you angry and mad and lashing out, you're crazy. Yeah. And now you're too much to deal with. So it's like, ¿qué hago? Yeah. Where do I go? Who do I talk to? And it's that's where we end up being alone. And we do better when we're alone in those situations. And as much as we don't like it, it's like, I need it because who else is going to sit here next to me and ride this wave with me? Nobody. Why? Because said it yesterday no one cares you know life doesn't care nobody cares about how you feel just what can you do for them and how do you show up what can you provide and other than that that's all you're good for mm-hmm. so you have to there <clears throat> there's only two people you can depend on when you need to make when you're down and out when you're in a bad position there's only two people that's on you and that's on god those are the only two people you can really trust in your life to get you out of the hole that you that you sunk into, to get you out of the depression you're in, to relax and calm down your anxiety, and trust yourself. Trust yourself that you're able to work on whatever project you're going to work on or onto the next step you're going into, and trust God that he's going to lead you in that direction. He's going to guide you in those directions where he's going to test you, and he's going to make you gain that, that strength to climb out. You know, we, if you guys watched, was it The Dark Knight Rises, when they throw Batman all the way under. And what is it? He needs to get his strength back to Alfred, come up. Alfred, why do we fall? So we learn how to get back up, sir. Oh, my. Oh. 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 I love Batman series. That was good. That was good. Dang. Christopher Nolan. Oh. Now you got it. The, the other one where he's, he's like, where is she? <laughs> Oh my goodness. The, movie night. Yeah, yeah, movie yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, it's, a, it's only two people in the world. Eh, como dicen, Dios aprieta, pero no ahorca. Pero a veces aprieta. Pero a veces aprieta. I'm about to pass hey, out. Hey, hey. Stop. But, but did tap you die? Tap, but tap, did you I'm die? tapping, I'm tap tapping. Stop, ya parale, No, I, I've heard that quote and I'm like, Sometimes he be he be, he be, he be joking a little too much. He be testing. I'm not your strongest soldier, God. I'm <laughs> not. No more battles. Give, give, yeah, right? <laughs> give those battles to somebody else. I need a break. Grandpa, I'm tired. <laughs> 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 Who? Who cares? Oh, that's too damn bad. 
these are mov- movies that we can quote. Hey, hey. <laughs> no por nada se hicieron famosos. <laughs> Nacho Libre. I don't know, man. Hey. But we can watch it and I can, we can talk about the whole thing. That movie so much. Or uh, what's the other one? Uh, Blood In, Blood Out. You guys never watched okay, that movie. Okay, yes. <laughs> yes. I just forgot it. <laughs> I'm like, how? Vatos Locos Forever? Yeah, no, Miklo? yeah. Miklo? Damn, that's crazy. Never mind. He said, oh. just, just he's like, I'm sorry. We're going to change the generation, generation gap. <laughs> <laughs> For a guy, you're a youngster. Youngster. Well, it's you, then me, and then it's them. Hey. <laughs> hey. Con experiencia. Con experiencia. Con experiencia. Los da el motivo, and I can say this now, friendship has no age limit. No, it doesn't. Some of my, doesn't. my best friends, five. yep, my Please. best friends are younger and older than me. And then I can literally have a conversation with older people that are 50, 60, have been through life, and, re, and I'm in a position now to, hey, let me tell you about experiences, and maybe we can have that intellectual conversation. And then you meet younger people that they hold it down. I'm like, I wish I had your mentality, dog, yeah. when I was that age. Porque andaba bien pendejo eso. Todavía ahorita, todavía. Y sigo, y sigo. But it's, I mean, it's crazy. Like, business owner. You know, Andrew just, what is he, 25, just bought his his house too. And I'm like, damn, yeah, bro. Crazy. I'm like, yo, apenas está diciendo esto. You know, it's hella funny. Uh, a few days ago, I went to an event, uh, like a little influencer event. Oh. Uh, oh. So oh. Let, me okay. let me talk about this because it goes off what you were saying. And we went there and there was a lot of creators, a lot of influencers. It was a beautiful party. But then I was looking around and I was like, wow, these kids are probably like kids, but they're probably like, Early 20s, yeah. maybe max 25. And I was like, and they're out here doing the biggest things. And I was like, yo, está bien pendeja esta edad. <laughs> I was like, the opportunities and just like everything that they're doing at such a young age. I was yeah. like, this is crazy. Yes. My 22-year-old self was in a way different world. That, like, uh, my respects. My respects to this life. Young, I think youngsters. the way life happens. And access. The access to what the world is mm-hmm. now. Social media, obviously being the biggest one, yeah. but it's not always what you think. It's not I, I think we we realized that very very fast, and and we needed to take a step back where we like, wait, I'm looking up to this person here, but they don't got it like that. Someone hungry. Hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> I know. I should, I should ask my poor child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you meet like you meet these these people that you've been watching or following, and, and then you're disappointed. Yeah, like that's the worst. Because like, meeting somebody that you kind of like idolize, and you're like, "Shit, I look up to you," and then you meet them, and it's like, "Dude, damn, you're dick. not the person you portray in social right. media." Or like, like you're you don't have anything of value that like I can really be motivated by, or I want to be like this. I like, don't get me wrong; everybody has a situation, but if I'm following you and looking up to you, it's because you created something or have something that I want and need at one point in my life mm-hmm. and if the reality and the truth always comes out and you don't have none of this I'm like oh so you portray success but in reality there's no success like yep. yeah. like success to people is having a million views yeah that's cool dope but where do you live what car do you drive how many people you take care of the biggest thing is what do you take care of your responsibilities you know, it's, para que, been through this now, right? But, para que tener tantas vistas? Why well, have all these views and all these opportunities, but yet we're still over here suffering and living in a hard life when... It's not everything that it seems. Like, it's just not... You just show the highlights. Life, life's everybody. Yeah. And, you know, socials is only to highlight the good things, which is good. You know, it can bring out a lot of positive positivity, yeah. but, like... There is, it's not everything. Yeah, it's a, what, what do you want to do with your life and what, what do you want to showcase? Mm-hmm. What do you want to, if you want to inspire people, you don't want to, or if you just want to post tarugadas on social media. Yeah, you know? no, cada, cada quien. Cada quien. Cada quien. Yeah, you do what you gotta do. Yeah, no, but I mean, people, you know, pintan estas vidas tan perfectas y tan bonitas and success this and that, and that's great, but like, you got to know. They're only showing you what they want to show you. Yeah. There's so much behind closed doors that 
goes unnoticed. Yeah. So it's on the close friends list. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not even not everything not even makes it on the close yeah, list. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but no, yeah. It's it's like one thing on social media and everybody's human. Yeah. Everybody's human, everybody. Life gets the best of everybody. I think the the biggest thing is be kind to people. Oh. It doesn't take a lot. It, and it's free. And it's free. You know, I think uh you know, you learn these, I don't know if anybody's ever taken the bus to school, but, you know, you learn these good acts when you're young. And that transitions into, like, you should not forget them when you're older. Mm-hmm. It's just, hey, say hi, say bye. Please, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Excuse me. And, hey, you don't know what they're going through, but you do your part. Way, yeah. But you do your part. Be kind and kill them with kindness. They want to be rude or someone wants to be negative. Hayato. Pero... Gracias. At the end of the day, it's not that serious. Not that serious. It's not that serious. At the end of the day, the dance. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, the dance. That's what people need to understand. Oh, fuck. Dude, it was so crazy because he ended up coming out with the music video and todo. Oh, shit was living. Yeah. Hey, you know what? We laugh yeah, he, about it, but. He fucking capitalized At the that. day, of the, at the end of the day. The day the ends. The day ends. Dude. He Period. He ran to the bank the next day. <laughs> hey. There's there's a question that uh, I know Jose answered last time we recorded this, but I just want to ask you. It's a it's, it's gonna it's, it's a question that's gonna have you thinking, and I need you to uh, say, sit, sit, sit with it, I mean, sit sit with it just a little bit, and and let it out the way it is. No 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 no. no. Hit me with your best shot. Hit me with your best shot. Okay. Yeah. Um, what is an apology that you never got to give? Oh. What was yapping? <laughs> <laughs> an apology I never got to give. Mm. Mm. That's a really good question. What about you? Ah, nah, nah, nah. No, 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 no. Always give me the hardest. <laughs> yeah. What about you? What's, What's an apology way? you never got to give? <laughs> No. Did, did you answer that? I think I did. You did? I don't remember that. That day? Yeah. Nah. You know. know. Do you remember? I forgot what I even said. I <laughs> nah, we got to let Jackie answer it before okay, okay. Okay. He said, skip me. Are skip you me. answering too? I think I answered it. Ah, it's her. It's her. Ah, nah, nah, it's her. Yeah, yeah. Look, uh, deflect. Uh, uh, hey, uh, uh. hey, she's deflecting right now. No, no, I'm just, I'm just thinking because like there's so many things that... I've done wrong that I wish I could apologize for and stuff like that. But immediately what comes to my mind is, and it's still a little ongoing, okay. but I wish I communicated better with my very, very close people. And I, ex- I wish I expressed like how I feel and how I'm grateful for them because a lot of times the way I grew up, like we don't say I love you or hugs. We're not a very affectionate yeah. group of people. And there's so many things that people have done for me that I wish I would have said thank you or I would have taken the time just to take an extra minute to just to be like, no, really, like you have no idea, like thank you. And there's so many opportunities that that happened that I'm like, damn, Jacqueline, you could have been a little more grateful. Like you could have taken the time to just been like, hey. Mm-hmm. And moving forward, I'm working on it. But that's something that I'm like, like so many things my family my friends you know yeah i'm working on it you know i used to giving out love in that type of form or you know letting people know how appreciated of them it's you know i think it's common in latino families where you're just like you know you've got each other's back but you don't express it all the time and i wish i could have been more expressive to certain people for certain things but i'm working on it I'm just a girl. <laughs> just hey, a girl. all we can do is try. I'm just trying. It's not that serious. Not that serious. <laughs> oh, man. Does that answer your question? Oh, yeah. I mean, there was no wrong answer. It was just, <laughs> yeah, there was no wrong answer. It was just, uh, I think it's one of those deep questions where we live life with this guilt sometimes. Mm-hmm. And it sucks because sometimes the guilt comes from being successful. Sometimes the guilt comes from moving on or 
making someone feel a certain way because of how you're living life. You know, sometimes we're not, we've never been perfect. So we have a lot of demons in the closet. We have a lot of, a lot of skeletons in the closet. Like, I'm sorry. Like I used to be that way and I'm sorry for all the hurt and pain I've ever caused, but I'm not that person anymore. There's a lot of skeletons in my closet, but I've never been afraid to open it because I could talk about it. We could talk about it. But don't hate me for what I used to be and who, who I used to be. Treat me. Give me the treatment that I deserve now. If I'm trying, cool. We're working on it. We're working on yeah. it. But, you know, there's a, there's a lot of people that, you know, I, I'm guilty of this, living life with that guilt of, damn, bro, like, I did that. I used to do this, and I hurt this person. Someone that showed me all the love in the world, and the only thing I gave back was hurt. And now that things happen, I'm like, how do you, how do you fix something that was already that was broken? It's like trying to uh, fix a piece of glass. It's not going to be the same, but you could try. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Just... So, and I know apology goes a long way, but it's. It's with your actions. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, I need you, you to... Approve them and to yourself that you've changed. Yeah. Like, uh, apologize for for you and for them. And if, however they take the apology, it's up to them. Yeah. You know, you did your part and, and you're working on you. And, you know, if someone wants to hate you for the rest of their life for something you did a year ago before, you know, they're in every right to and just got to keep on going. Yeah. So that was... I know we asked Jose this. I was like, damn, that was a good question. Dude, it's a good question. Ones, <laughs> <laughs> ask me the hard ones. I know. Hard yeah. what's, what was the other question that that you guys had gave me? Who in your who in your life are uh, are you grateful for? Are you grateful for? Yeah, who in your life are you grateful for? Are you asking me? No, I'm just no, answering. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> who am I grateful for? If I have to say one person that I'm grateful for, it is my mom. I'm a mama's girl. I'm a mama's girl. Like, throughout my whole journey of life, like, she's always had my back. She's always supported me in everything that I do. My crazy-ass ideas. Yeah. Like, nunca me, ha nunca me ha puesto como rienda de que, like, you can't do that. Yeah. You can't do that. She's my biggest cheerleader, my biggest supporter. And honestly, with my mom gassing me up, I'm like, invincible i'm like mm. nobody can touch me it's just it's a relationship that i really really value because if you don't have like your mom's support yeah. i think it affects a lot like your mom has to be the biggest supporter you know yeah because they brought up a good point earlier with his mom watching and yeah i'm sure she's just letting it run <laughs> yeah <laughs> for the new time <laughs> no 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 yeah but like um, yeah it's it's a huge part of my life Love you, Mama. There it is. Mm -hmm. So, would it be too much? Would it be too much? It's just a random question. Mm -hmm. If you were to call your mom and tell her, but she's at a baby shower right now. Like she's a she's at a baby shower. Que llore, que llore in the baby shower. Huh? That's it. I'm like, because usually she doesn't answer me when she's out. I thought of that because I was like, I know where you're going with this. <laughs> I, I know like, where you're going with this, but she's with yeah, me. Yeah, because you, like I said, you, you talk about how your mom, like how she's your biggest supporter and how you're working on expressing these feelings. See. What better way than to do it through a phone call? A random phone call where they don't expect it. Huh? A random phone okay, call. Okay, so they how would this go down? I mean, just call her and she answers and just, you know, just da las gracias. She doesn't answer and fine. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's the thing. She's going to be like. She's a, if, she, if she doesn't answer, you can still leave a voicemail. But this, so this is something we've done in the past in the podcast where our parents don't know how to receive love. They don't, that's a thing. They, she, they're, yeah. So their childhood trauma, their childhood, like, love story was never how we're trying to portray, how we're trying to get ours and what we're passing on to our kids. Yeah. So when you tell your mom or dad how much you're proud of them, how much you love them, you appreciate them, they've never got that. Why? Because they don't this know how is, to act. Yeah, yeah. They, they just only knew this is what I needed to do. This was my job. This is my task. Sentimientos no, no, no existen. So yeah, I've done it in the yeah, past. Yeah. So like I called my dad and my dad started crying because he's just like, I've never received this. 
and I, I don't know how to embrace this, but thank you. So the random calls and the random acts go a long way. I know. I mean, fuck it. <laughs> so you're going to call her or what? Fuck, I'll call her. I don't know if she'll answer because I know she's at a baby. That's all right. But um, if, no, no perdemos nada. En, no perdemos nada. Tratar, no perdemos nada. Eh? But I'm trying to think, like, how am I, I going to talk? This is really going to throw her off guard. That's good. She's like, se está muriendo. Que ver. She's going to be like, <laughs> en el hospital. She's gonna be like, okay, thank you. Si me contesta, que bueno. Y si no, but we won't include it. But I know we don't she's lose, no, no perdemos nada. No, no perdemos, perdemos nada. Oh, are we recording? Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. All right, let me, let me put my mama joe on speaker. <laughs> Making sure. Making sure we're on. Probably drunk. <laughs> she's not gonna answer. She's drinking mimosas. What? She had a Very she had a baby shower. shower. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, mom. Make sure you delete this clip. <laughs> I know. She I could have been dying, mom. Her call has been forwarded. I could have been dying. <laughs> so that's what it feels like. <laughs> if she oh. wanted to, she's you would. <laughs> And you know what she did? She did. She <laughs> said decline. She said. You said forward this call. Que, que trae, que trae She's esta? Like, Ahorita no quiero. No. Damn. Damn. Well, Let's se, talk about traumas. Le, se hizo el intento. Pero es que, sí, just, that makes it harder to want to even reach out. No, dang, I know. <laughs> now when she calls you, it's like, now I don't want to talk to you. Now I don't want to talk to you. Para que se te quite. The resentment. Bueno, bueno. Wait, you talk, you always talked about your mom. What about her? And how important, like, how <laughs> your best friend your mom is? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever told her? Yeah, all the fucking time. All the you do? time. Yeah, I tell my mom every single day I love her. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. grew up like that? Yeah, for the most part. Her, I'll tell her. Yeah. What about, like, that another, I see, like, las gracias? Yeah, every little thing that she does, I'll thank her. Like, that's the thing. My relationship Thanks with my mom, mom is really good. Are you a mama's boy? Yeah, I fucking love my mom. She's my best friend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, my mom is like, I'll tell her everything and anything. Yeah. Yeah, because moms know when something's going on. You yeah, know? And they my mom's do. the type of person where, again, she grew up not getting the affection or whatever. Yeah. Because she fucking had eight brothers and sisters. Seven, eight, I don't even know. But I tell her all the time. Hey, my, my mom's, mom's sleeping. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> no, I, I, my mom, I. Look, Jack Jack's mom, I, I, mom is like, calling back and she's ignoring it. Like. <laughs> Don't ignore her call. No, she calls I'm not. Back, I'm right? not. I'm just because she usually always she'll call me back. She she'll call she'll me back. She'll call her back. <laughs> Twenty four hours later, qué pasó? Yeah. ¿Qué I've been dying. ¿Qué quieres? No, but that's really cool. Yeah, like that's really cool. Yeah, I mean, she knows when shit's going on. She's like, yeah. Jose, ¿qué tienes? Yeah, I'm like, know. no, I'm good. No estás no, bien, Jose. Te conozco. And should, then it's like, you should, all right, you should call her. I'm good. <laughs> Straight up, I'm good. He said nah. I said nah, my boy. I'm good. I tell her. I tell her. That's cool. I'm working on it. Yeah. Um, I'm working on it. Yeah, because like she's done a lot of you know great things for me, and even I'm I'm gonna keep it real. Like I mean, my cuesta, you know, just a simple thank you or a simple something, because it yeah. was always just like so we're not very emotional. Mm. Like yeah, so, so a simple thank you for me is already like a big step. I'm like Whoo. yeah, dude. Every time, every time we actually talk, it ends up both of us crying. Really? You yeah. and your mom? Yeah. Oh, dang. Are you like Pepe? Do you have like a pretty good... Yeah, like, pretty you good tell her and stuff? Well, I, no, I don't. No. I just tell her like I love you like the simple ones. Like yeah. the simple thing, but... Not yeah, really. no, I, I get you. That's good though. That's yeah. good. See, we're working. Call her, fool. Call her. Call her. Sleeping. <laughs> Wake her up. No, so, she had a long shift. <laughs> I bet you anything if you called her, she would answer. No, she'd be like... No? She'd be like she might not. She'd be like mine? <laughs> no, because she, she works overnight, so she got oh, home like okay. out. Five in the morning. Gotcha. I'm pretty sure she's sleeping right now. No, dude. One time I called my mom at three in the morning and she pulled me a solid. She answered and I was like, <laughs> my car was getting towed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the story with you. Your yeah. car was always getting towed. Yeah, yeah. So, so I was actually at Caña. <laughs> Can I tell a little story? Yeah. yeah. I was at Caña and you know downtown LA. It's downtown. Signs don't mess around. Yeah. So my car got towed like five minutes after we had left. 
So I had to go to the pound, like to impound now. Impound, yeah. Impound, yeah, yeah. no, that's the that's the, <laughs> that's what, oh, the pound. Yeah, <laughs> she went a pound. Huh? <laughs> that was it, wait, the, that's what she got the, to. Isn't it place. called a pound? Impound. Impound. <laughs> impound. I'm just a girl. <laughs> I don't belong there. Okay, I don't belong there. <laughs> to the pound? I hope not. <laughs> All my and dogs so out there. It was like 3 a.m. They needed to see my pink slip in order to get my car out. So I called my mom, 3 a.m. There she was, taking a picture of it, emailing it to me, doing all the things at 3 a.m. And I was able to get my car. I'm glad I haven't gotten towed because I didn't even know you needed a pink slip. Yeah, now you know. So if you get towed, you either need... um, like I didn't have my values registration on me. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. yeah. And she's just a girl. A she's just a girl. She's just a girl. Chaotic night, but a story to tell. You could have been on Operation Rebel. Get I on the car, have. back up the <laughs> truck on his hood. Get that the, show, get that, out, those are one of the shows that raised me. Do you guys ever watch? Oh that? hell oh, yeah. yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! From the hood, like, right there. Why are you there. so sassy? Well, I used to watch Operation Rebel with Maury. Plus, <laughs> Maury, you are not. We had we had no business watching Maury at ten years old. No, and Jerry we Springer. Honestly. Jerry Springer. What was the the Spanish version? Jose Luis. Jose. No, the other the Laura. 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 Yes, yeah, that one. Cycle this Brazil. See, dude, the show I agree with that one. Summertime in like the fifth no, grade. No, oh, that was elite. a great song. Elite. The Jerry Beads. We were living there for the Jerry Beads. The Jerry Beads. Jerry Beads. When he would give out the the beads in the audience, it was because they were had to do something in order to get oh. them. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Boom. There's beads. Dang. So yeah. we had no business. This is why we're we're built like this. We used to drink water out of the water hose. That's where we never get sick. That's why we never get sick. Never get sick. Yeah, I'm glad I can say that too. Yeah, and a little tosecita. Toma, está bien. Un shot, fuck it. Un shot, se Hey, don't don't you know that? Like for babies, some some people they'll like get like a little bit of uh, alcohol, like actual alcohol, and then the baby's gums when they're teething. Bro, I'm the only person in my family that dreams. Just crazy, huh? <laughs> they should see you when you drink. <laughs> I don't know what when they, he drinks, I don't he drinks. Know what they you drink. Do. You drink for the whole family. <laughs> <laughs> you drink for the whole family. It's because, look, in every family, you just you need the one that just does it all. Yeah. Hey. You need the one that goes out, is outside, you living experiences. Don't be that deal. I, I, that's me right that's now, honestly. Me too. That's me. me too. Pulling up with all the all the cool toys and all, all the drinks. The I aspire. Aspire to be that tia, the rich aunt. Hell yeah! That travels the fucking world. Hell yeah! Yeah. Y cuando y cuando on a pretty good start. Y cuando cuando llega la fiesta, mira ahí está Jackie, ahí está la Jackie. Yeah. Ya llegó la influencer. Mira, apenas apenas se vino de de Greece. Ahí mira, mira. Mira, por eso está bien bronceada today. No, and then what happens? Y cuando se va a casar? <laughs> they tell they go to your no, mom. I, yeah, they, pasó, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tren. I think they've gotten the gist of esta ya no tiene pa cuando. Esta ya. No, and it's funny when they, they ask your parents, ¿Y qué la, y, y, ya está casada? ¿Ya tiene hijos? ¿Cuándo se va a casar? Y se, se mira un poquito más, más llenito. ¿Le va? ¿Está bien? Or if, you, if, you're getting, if you're on a diet or you're losing weight, ¿Y ¿está bien? Eh? Se mira más delgado. Andas triste. Andas triste. Andas triste. Andas triste. ¿Estás bien? Sí. Ah, okay, mijo. And then they start throwing the little, the little low blows, little low blows for your family. Just, at every party, there has to be. Like, there's always drama. Always. There's, there's, dr- like, there's no drama. For no reason. Too. They get cheesy. You get the tíos that are holding their beer. Que me Yeah. Oh, there's always that one tío. Aquí no decimos we're gonna fight. Aquí decimos vamos a dar unos putazos. Putazos okay. Putazos okay. Putazos okay. Hey, plato plomo, plato plomo. <laughs> oh man, I think uh, we went through it all on this podcast. A little, yeah. a good, a good comeback. You know, a good. Everybody loves a good comeback story, and aquí <sighs> vamos. We're fighting life yeah. by a thread. That's almost. That's almost. I need a fucking. What is it? By a thread. I'm more hanging. We <laughs> really are. Literally, it's about a rib, but. <laughs> but it hasn't ribbed. But it hasn't ribbed. But it hasn't ribbed. It's like a. Uh, <laughs> Never mind. I'm about to give out. <laughs> <laughs> but anything you guys want to say before we get going? You guys, everything got off your chest? 
until Good. four weeks from here. <laughs> Let, let's check in. It. Let's, let's check in again. Check in another again. another four weeks until like next week. Weeks. You know, if uh, you have a dream, go and get it. Hey. There it is. If not now, when? <laughs> 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 it's, it's not that serious. It's not that, it's not serious. that serious. Well, again, for everybody watching and for my people, thank you guys for another amazing podcast. Ladies, if you guys need some Western wear, y'all already know where to shop. What shop is it? Shop.segura.com. Shop dot dot Damn. Discount code? <laughs> There's no discount code. Hey. Full hey, price. Hey, <laughs> show me a DM and we can talk about it. Use, use ATTL10 for no discount. <laughs> <For> no discount. <laughs> it's just gonna, you're just going to input it. It's going to raise it up. <laughs> plus 10. Plus 10%. Add, add 10%. Ah, verdad? Yeah. Ah, verdad? We got we to gotta pay the fees. So. Hey, we're just trying to make it. <laughs> but it's also live podcast. One more time. The most authentic, the most organic. So let's go. Thank you.